what's going on everybody back with another video so first and foremost I just want to let everyone know Merry Christmas happy holidays enjoy your holidays enjoy your family good vibes good food that's what it's all about okay um, as far as the video you guys have been one uh, graphics video for Warzone 3 for 1650 that's what this is so I hope you enjoy hit that like hit that subscribe okay to the video right so you're gonna go over here to your gear for your settings Go down to controller. Now I play on controller. It's just a regular PS4 controller with back paddles. Nothing really fancy. Just regular PS4 controller. Um, down here, de dead zones. Some people mess with their dead zones. I kind of just leave mine alone. It's really up to you. Over here to aiming. I put my sensitivities on nines. Um, let's see. Right here, aim response curve type. I put that on dynamic. It's pretty important, I think. Uh down here so aim assist if you have a controller then you have aim assist if you play on mouse and keyboard you do not have aim assist so I play a controller so I have aim assist so I turn that on um, aim assist type I just put that on default you know it's really just a personal preference you know but I just put it on default so uh, over here to gameplay automatic attack sprint I put that uh, I put that on for my automatic sprint uh, now with Warzone 3, they put the movement, all the movement back in. Uh, so, so what I did is I, and they put slide canceling in too. So what I did is I basically threw out all my dives and I just put slide and slide canceling. It helps with movement, get around faster, things like that. So single tap run down there. Let's go down a little further. Um, slide dive behavior, I put slide only. And what that did is just uh, exited out the dive, okay? Uh, parachute auto deployed put that off down a little further down here I'm going through it slow so you guys can copy my settings down here interact reload behavior I put prioritize interact and what that does is it helps you loot boxes faster get in and out of boxes faster so you can get in the fight okay armor plate behavior I put that apply all and what that is is so instead of putting one plate in and putting two plates in three plates in you just put them all in boom 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 you know with one button okay and that helps with uh, you know repositioning and things like that so let's see scroll down a little further I guess basically it for this one over here to graphics okay so I run full screen borderless and that's because I run two monitors uh, so I can move my mouse between the two monitors if I please uh, right there GTX 1650 that's my PC probably your PC too uh, the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, put that on plus boost. And over here to quality. Okay, so you basically down here to details and textures. So what you're doing here is you're changing your details and textures, which affects your VRAM usage. Okay, so the way this works is this is your target. You don't want to go past this. If you go past this, then you're in the red, and then you have super bad graphics, and your game runs terrible. So... You're right, what you're doing is you're fighting between frames and graphics okay so what I did is I kind of put my graphics down a little bit and then which raised my frames a little bit so I kind of find a happy medium I guess it's what you got to do um, so I'm just gonna explain a few you know and just scroll down through it slowly for you uh, texture resolution I put that on low Let's see down a little further uh, bullet impacts the reason why I put that on is because when I'm testing out a gun you know you shoot a wall and you don't touch the left stick you just shoot shoot the wall and you see where your bullet pattern goes okay what that does is it helps you when uh, you're shooting a guy it helps you so you know which way to counter it on your left joystick okay um, shader quality I put that on medium uh, down a little further going down slow for you your static reflex quality, I put that on high. Down further for you. I think that's basically it for this. So I'm going to slowly scroll up for you just so you can get everything. I hope these settings work for you. I really do. You go over to your view tab. Your field of view, PC players, I can put it on 120. Most pros run like anywhere between 110 and 120. I just put mine all the way up. ADS field of view is affected. Uh, weapon field of view is wide. 
those three are really really important okay um, with your field of view being 120 what that does as you can see in the box is it kind of brings everything in so you see more in your peripherals okay which helps a lot when you're in a gunfight world motion blur weapon motion blur you definitely want those off field frame off camera movement you want that least 50% and the reason why is because that's how much your camera moves when you run and stuff you don't want a bunch of movement that's just gonna that's just gonna mess you up and confuse you um, okay so over here to audio I put on headphone bass boost just so I can hear the uh, footsteps a little bit better you know I really don't know if it works but you know it helps me so um, just going down through this kind of slow this stuff really doesn't matter too much. It's really just your pre personal preference. And then interface is kind of important. I made this little change down here to color customization. So I had it on Tritonopia, but I put it on custom. And the reason why is so I didn't change any of these colors because I didn't want it to uh, confuse me in game. So what I did was if it was a red like this one, I just put it a brighter red. If it was a blue, I put it on a blue that stands out more on your map. Okay. And just what that did is in game, it just brings all your important stuff. It just brings it brighter so that you can see it more. Okay. And then down here a little further, your HUD bounds. So with your field of view being at 120 and your HUD bounds being all the way in like that you see the most okay if that makes sense to you mini map shape I put that on square and the reason why is because as you can see here because you can see more of your mini map uh, mini map rotation you want that on for sure it's just easier to follow uh, let's see right here oh no that's not it Okay, all these tips I all have off. Skip uh, introduction movie. I mean, the introduction movies they put in here are pretty cool, but I just turn that off because it just gets annoying after a while. And I think that's pretty much it for the video. So I hope you enjoy. I, I hope these uh, settings work for you, and feel free to tweak them, you know, as you want, because you know everyone, you know, has a little bit different opinion on what they like to see and stuff like that. Just don't forget the uh, VRAM usage thing. Okay. Hope you enjoy. Happy holidays. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Catch you next time.